Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aurora 4X. So, um, last episode we left off um, doing pre-production for boarding operations. So today, uh, we will be executing them. So, uh, give me a quick update of what's transpired. So, we've got a few of the tech. Um, we got the... We got a little bit of extra EM range, we got the fuel economy mod, um, we got a little bit of shield tech and a whole bunch of other little, little tech here and there. Uh, the shell the second shell water has been done, Crate, and I've got a few of the uh, fighters on board. Yep, let's cut that off, there we go. So what I'll do is I will grab uh, Marathon, who is the uh, 25k uh, Aranta. That one has actually completed its refit as well, which is great. Uh, I'll grab that one and I will refuel Colony. I will also grab one of these uh, squadrons, the Tobruk 2 squadron, I think would be nice. And we will just... Um, Launch and recover. Uh, so we'll, we'll just move the Crusaders across to the squadron. Um, I do still have another four in production, but three will be enough because I'll be able to um, basically kind of make a r attack runs, drop off, uh, pick up new ones, and come back. Uh, we will need Bandicoot to load up. Where is it? It's in cans at the moment. Um, I'll need to... Where is it? Oh, it's on Kansas A5 to do the... Okay, no, that's fine. Um, I will need Bandicoot to bring the troops. So we'll go ahead and uh, load those. Uh, so Marine Company, Marine Company, Marine Company, and Marine Company. Um, for, we'll actually probably need the second round to be finished, but they're not too far off. Yeah. <clears throat> probably should have gotten these guys out first, but oh well. And we'll just have a quick double check on Sydney Prime and see how that's doing on the construction front. Uh, it's got 0.08 done, but it does have uh, a few factories now, so um, that's going to be finished a lot sooner, which is excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Once these guys are done, we'll load up the rest of them and then we'll be on our way. Right, that's another zoom. I am moving these guys in manually, um, just because I don't want to have to change the entire thing. So assign and recover. There we go. So they're on board now as well. Um, I don't want to have to uh, assign them to the shell water and then uh, bring it back the other way. It's a, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, if you're building, like, lots and lots and lots of fighters, then yes, assigning that fighter to that carrier will be uh, better. But I'm just building seven. I won't be really building any more. So, that's fine. I'll just do a 30-day run. <clears throat> Okay, Bandicoot has loaded, Zim's done, so we'll go ahead and move him across, sign and recover. I might even be able to, might even get those guys out to star before, <clears throat> before we leave. <clears throat> ok, 
Okay. I'll be done now. <clears throat> There we go. All right, we'll get more for uh, for replacements, uh, but those new those other ones won't be coming with us. Uh, we will go ahead and get Bandicoot to load up the rest. And 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 so once those guys are loaded, we will get him to join the crate there we go uh, Antonio Betty is on shore leave uh, yeah that's fine <clears throat> good all right so crate how you doing uh, we'll do a quick refuel to get the uh, bandicoot back up to full uh, tank uh, we've got a five Zims and a full squadron of Tobruks in case any of them get uppity. We have a full ammo load uh, of torpedoes. We'll turn on our active sensors and we will move to... Where is it? Oh, I've, re I've reorganized these, these a little bit as well. Um... Just about a suit of... Uh, we found that Kalgoorlie is a dead end, which is okay. Uh, and Melbourne is a massive hub, so I moved it further out. Um, I'll reshuffle these around to make them a little more organized once I explore the, re the rest of the route through Melbourne. Um, Perth is going to stay here because... Uh, you know what? Move it across. I don't know what's happened to it. I don't know what's happened to it. Um... Yeah, there we go. Um, Perth is just a route th between Melbourne and Adelaide, so any colonies here will be able to take a shortcut to colonies here. We are finding a lot of very low-cost planets as well, which is really great. Um, not very much around this way, but we have plenty along here and plenty in this section here. Uh, so we will we'll be... And, and this little cul-de-sac here with six and seven is spectacular so we will be expanding um, our at least our civilian um, populations will be moving in here and these two systems will be a massive um, wealth hub because the taxation will be enormous and we will of course be using these as um, as colonist sources as well so we'll be able to put out a lot of colonists through that route i uh, will actually go ahead and just set these guys up to build the jump gate and build one back there we go but if i can remember where those Stupid guys are... Are they in Newcastle? You know what? I have... A, there is a wreck there. Let's go have a look at the wrecks. Is it in Newcastle? I think it's in Newcastle. No. Kalgoorlie? Yes. There they are. Okay. So, a uh, good thing I set, up, uh, is, uh, set it up so that it keeps track of lost contact as well. Uh, that will make things a little bit easier with finding these ships that don't necessarily move, but do... Um, but we don't really have to keep track of them as often. So, we are in Seoul. We'll need to get to Kalgoorlie, which is there. So, Canberra, Kalgoorlie, and then await further instructions. <clears throat> just very quickly, I better just double check.
Yeah, good. <coughs> hmm. Does the carrier have active senses? I think it does. Would be a little bit silly if it didn't. And it does not. Okay. Um, I just realized that we don't actually have any active senses to paint targets with. Um, shell water. Get Waramonga. I don't think it has a jump drive, though. Oh, well. Um... Where are they going? Canberra. Canberra has a jump gate. And go join up with Crete. Silly buggers. And don't do a transit, just move two. Uh, Aitken has completed overhaul and Zim has been constructed. Uh, it can wait for a bit. And Waramanga has joined Crete. So we will go ahead and transit once it's done. Good. Uh, we should probably send Robert Aiken out to do something, so keep him busy. Plus it's complaining that the overhaul's done, that it can't carry out orders. Okay, Aitken, Aitken, Aitken. Robert Aitken, uh, we will send you out through one of the Melbourne jump points. Melbourne... And out there. There we go. Go explore! Now, why is this complaining? It's in a run to 25k, yes. How big is Bandicoot? Way too big. Okay, that explains that. Um, Alright, so we will split off Bandicoot. Uh, but before we do that... We will load ground units into drop modules. One, two, three, four, five... Now, they are cryo drop modules, which is going to play a very, very important role in um, in the morale of those troops. Still waiting on those. All right, we'll cycle through in a day. There we go. Okay. So, those should be loaded now. Yep, you can see they're in cryo drop modules. So, we will detach Bandicoot. And we will send Crete through. There they are. And what's the range? A bit far. Wreck of Ming class. That's that's odd. Okay. Let's find out what's going on.
Okay, there they are. Not sure what what's what was going on there. <clears throat> Alright, can automated mine construction completed on Earth, that's fine. Okay. So we will stop crate. And we will take each one of these zims, detach, and attempt boarding action with 1st Marine Company, or well, 51st Marine Company. And detach, attempt boarding action with 52nd. Detach, boarding action 53rd, detach, yes, good, and detach, and boarding action. Okay, so we will need to go for a bit of a reload, but <clears throat> that will do for now. What's the range on that? Looks like they've got just about enough range. So that's fine. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, boarding attempt succeeded. Uh, suffered a little bit of a drop of, of readiness, but that's fine. Uh, succeed, success, 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 success. Brilliant. Okay, so all five marine companies have managed to... Um, have managed to land successfully. Uh, they've suffered a small drop of readiness, but that's fine because they are at full readiness as it is. Um, and now they will attempt to um, conduct bo to break. Basically, if you have damaged the ship to the point where there is a hole in the armor all the way down, then they will just enter through that piece of armor. If you haven't, then they will deal. They will pick an arm uh, an armor column, and they will basically start blowing chunks out of the armor until they reach the inside. If they are still on the outside when you um, when you uh, if, if, if you take if, if, you, if you shoot the ship and they take damage then it is possible for them to um, for, for you to kill your crew the boarding crew so do make sure that if you are boarding or trying to board a ship that you don't try to shoot them oh wow that was quick boarding combat attack strength combat ratio 228 yeah so basically zero crew as it looks like these things use almost no crew at all uh, so looter one has been captured zero alien prisoners taken uh during capture so I, either there's zero crew outright, or there is so little crew that you, ba you know they just kill a butcher them all uh, on their way through. So that was really quick. Uh, if you have a look, this one here, the attack strength was significantly less, but even then, even then, so five looters have been captured virtually instantly. So there we go. So now we have the worker. So if we go now to the ships, so we can see what the what the real name is now that we've captured it as well. 
there it is. Here we go. So worker class star swarm, 5,600 tons, 1,400 kilometers a second. Uh, the failure rate is catastrophic, so we're going to have to do. So we're going to have to get them home and um, under maintenance ASAP before they completely die. Uh, Magneto plasma drive, so no useful tech there. Um, Let's have a look at the damage. So if you have a look, they have one layer of armor, and that's the armor that the boarding crews had to break through to get through. Um, now, a, a boarding cycle is, I believe, five minutes. So if it had two layers of armor, it would have breached the first one instantly, uh, and then they would have had to wait the next boarding combat cycle to breach the next layer of armor. So if it's a, a big battleship with multiple layers of armor, uh, it's going to potentially take quite a while for them to actually break through. So the swarm extraction module is probably the only thing that I'm actually interested in acquiring, um, assuming that you know there's anything worth getting, I guess. Um, what I might do is get these guys uh, heading back immediately because that failure rate is catastrophic. Uh, if we do a standard transit, there's a jump. There's a jump tender on the other side, so we don't need a jump gate. Um, so move to Earth where it can be maintained. In the meantime. We need to get these Zim guys We need to get those Marines off the workers because otherwise there's a good chance we'll lose the the Marines. What's the failure rate at the moment for these guys? Oh, Jesus. Three years. Yeah. Um, there's a very good chance that we're probably going to lose them outright on the transit back. <clears throat> so, Zim. <clears throat> From Fleet. Get these guys off there now. <clears throat> what are they doing? Still awaiting acknowledgement. All right, there. Okay, it looks like they don't want to do that. Um, we will have to... Okay, we'll join that. Okay. So if we now go to SC Worker 8, we will we'll just create a little waypoint here, right here that they can do it at. And waypoint, um, load ground unit into module within fleet. Good. Do that for me real quick, please. Mm. Why are they not doing that?
purely because there's no transfer. Ah, there we go. Okay, now they're working on it. Yeah, because they have no cargo transport, um, it's taken them a full 24 hours to actually do the transfer. Because they're doing it through a small little docking port and not through using any kind of um, cargo support or anything like that. Come on. Get them across before we start, before we do a maintenance cycle. Uh, check crew morale divided by zero. That's probably because... There we go. All right. Um, maintenance failure as expected. And it has no maintenance supplies, so that's broken. Uh, another Zim's being built, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, because there's no actual crew or crew support on here. Um, yeah, it, it's not actually possible for, well, there's no actual crew, right? So it's kind of almost AI-ish, so to speak. So there's no crew, but there's no there's no crew quarters either, you know? So it's kind of annoying like that, but oh well. Um, so, but the important thing is that all of our guys are now in which means we can break these guys off and go do, go do something worth it. Right. Right. Okay. We will move these guys across. Good. And worker, do what you can about getting back to Earth in one piece. Uh... I don't think they're going to make it. But, uh, eh, well, you know, worth it. Anyway, the important thing is that was boarding, right? So that is how you conduct boarding ops. Um, I don't think I'm going to try for any others. The workers are just not practical to do. So we'll do a little bit more uh, fighter ops. So we'll go ahead and do we have the Crusaders? We do not, but on the carriers, we will add the Crete. There we go. And we will add these to Brooks. under a fighter wing. Um, what, what are they called? Crusaders, right? Yeah, Crusaders. Oh, um... And they are housed on the crate. So we'll add that and that and that and that and that and that and that. <clears throat> so obviously we missed them. So the other the other thing you can do is add task group parasites. So this will assign all fighters in the selected task group to the selected one. So there you go, now it's filled in the gaps. So we will take the crate and we will... Take this branch and deploy. Good. And we will move to until they are within range.
yeah if, if you if you want to board um, and capture any swarm or if you want to try boarding on um, sh uh, basically NPR ships stuff like that do make sure that you do bring along a maintenance ship because a lot of the designs don't actually have uh, especially the spoiler races they don't actually use maintenance even if you do they don't so the designs don't actually factor maintenance into the equation at all a lot of the time so it is important that you do make sure uh, why has it lost them uh, that you do make sure that uh, you bring along something to maintain them and just basically keep them alive until they can actually get back to Earth. Otherwise, they're just going to fail and die. Um, it didn't give any of them an officer, did it? Of course it did. Okay. Um, yeah, those guys are going to die unless I get them off those ships. Where are they? Well, okay, here it is. Okay. Um, how do I get them out of there? Okay, I sign. No. No. Oh, that's for the traits. I need to get them off that ship. What I could do is Commander CPR. Where are you? Commander There he is. Okay. So we assign him to the worker. Yes. Replace. Now do it again. And again. And no, that's the same guy. And again. I really should be a remove worker. I might have to look into it to see if there is a um, remove officer button to get them off easier, but there we go. All right, now with auto summons turned off, the workers should not get any uh, officers. Is that right? Yes, it is, good. Uh, that will hopefully stop them from dying. All right, crusaders are within range. But there's some uh, so the lost target locker. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's move Crete in a little bit closer. Uh, Golly A2 is where we want to be. So move him in a bit. There they are. Okay. So, to Brook. Um, no, lost him again. Alright, get in real close. Okay. 
Hmm, they can't see for some reason. Okay, let's bring them in a little bit closer. Probably ECM or something. But we will move them in. There we go. Okay, now they can see. So we'll assign and fire. We'll need to give it torpedoes. And we'll assign all the launchers. There we go. And we will copy the assignment. But we will assign different targets. And we will synchronize. There we go. <clears throat> ah, might want to tell the whole thing to open fire. There we go. All right, getting ready and fire. Interestingly enough, the, the, sh the fighters are almost as fast as the missiles themselves, which is, uh, I think, hilariously horrible. Uh, we really need to get those... Um, we're working on the three times power multiplier at the moment. As soon as that's done, I'm going to basically going to redesign all the missiles because you really do need that extra multiplier for the speed. Um, and... Yeah, when your ships are almost as fast as your missiles, and that's and that's because, you know, you, when you when you when you make the best missiles you you have, and your ships are still faster than them, that's when it just gets sad. All right, so that's hit them, and they basically shredded them. They have no armor. They have only a few components outright, and they're getting hit by sixteen damage torpedoes. Never really stand the chance. So now. We will take our fighters and go take them home. Land on the side, mothership. <clears throat> hmm. You know what we could do? Oh my god, I just thought the best idea. Okay, so our fighters can get back home. Right. So... Well, they probably can't because they are going to run out, run out of fuel. But they can main they can they can they can survive just following along, right? They can they can survive following along. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take our fighters. I'm going to launch them, and I'm going to get them to follow. Where'd they go? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get them to follow. And with the workers, right? They're only, what, 5,000 tons? 5,600? And a shoal water has 10... Uh, how much does it have? Actually, I better just double check. A shoal water has 7,000 capacity. That means that we can take one of these workers... And we can dock them to the to the ship, and save them that way. So, Crete move to ASAP, and we will get Crete to move to the workers ASAP, and hopefully they will survive long enough. Okay, squadron invader is what we're after. Later. 
and hopefully they will survive long enough that we can uh no, invader needs to join There we go. Um, and hopefully they'll survive long enough um, that we can get everything back home. Uh, fuel might be a, is a bit of a concern, but um, it will just have to do. I think that might be a production cycle. No, not yet. Beautiful. Okay. So now... Uh, let's take one of these workers that are not broken badly, because I think one of them are... Yeah, one of them got damaged. Uh, how are we going for time? 40 minutes. Yeah, so that is how we're going to rescue a worker. So I'll put a cut, um, and we'll continue on once we know what's happening, once we get back home. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.